Remember playing with magnets as a child? Sure you do. If you place two magnets in the correct orientation, an amazing thing happened. One followed the other around. The opposite poles of magnets attract each other. Van der Waals force describes a similar attraction between ionized or charged compounds at the molecular level. Water is a dipolar molecule. The two hydrogen atoms give one end of the molecule a positive charge. Oxygen gives the opposite end a negative charge. Dissolved mineral salts constitute the majority of the solids found in water. The metal ions are charged positively and non-metal ions have a negative charge. Like the poles of magnets, the opposite charges attract each other. The amount of that charge, called the zeta potential, determines the amount of the attraction. Even in the clearest water, dissolved minerals such as calcium and magnesium carbonate, potassium and sodium chloride, and iron oxides are carried along by the water molecules. The ions are not bonded to the water molecules, but attracted to them, much like the magnets. Armstrong designers have used the very same principle to save you a lot of work and money in the Series 4000 Humidiclean. Here's how. Once water has reached sufficient level in the humidifier, it is heated to make steam. When the water vaporizes, the mineral salts precipitate out of solution and begin to crystallize. The crystals are attracted to whatever has the greatest zeta potential inside the system. In other steam generator type humidifiers, that is usually the tank or the heating elements themselves. The resulting solids buildup necessitates time-consuming and messy cleaning procedures or costly parts replacement. Each Series 4000 Humidiclean tank contains five ionic beds which have, by design, the greatest zeta potential inside the steam generator chamber. Let's take a closer look. The ionic beds have a non-woven mat of polyester fiber. The random laydown and high void to fiber ratio provides an extended surface on which to capture the solids. The crystalline solids are attracted to the polyester fibers and form a sheath completely encasing each strand. Notice in this microscopic comparison that the fiber is not acting as a filter. The solids envelop the whole strand, not just one side of it. You can also see that the attraction is taking place within the ionic bed, not just on the outside. Even after the fibers are completely sheathed by solids, the bed still works. The crystals around the strands have an even higher attraction to the crystals in suspension than do the fibers themselves. As you can see, the sheath around the fibers in the ionic bed continues to grow until it is quite heavy with crystal accumulation. As a matter of fact, by the time the Series 4000 Humidiclean signals that the unit needs servicing, each cartridge could have accumulated up to 2.6 pounds or 1.2 kilograms of solids. That's approximately 13 pounds or 5.9 kilograms of solids removed by the five beds in each tank. During their service life, the five mats will have captured approximately 90% of all the solids that were introduced into the tank. Once indicated, service is simple. Just slide out the old cartridges and replace them with new ones. The old cartridges may simply be thrown away. They pose absolutely no environmental concerns. The ionic bed makes the Humidiclean environmentally friendly in another way. Since the drain valve of the Humidiclean does not have to be frequently cycled to remove solids, less water is wasted than with other models. There are several reasons that the Humidiclean outperforms the other steam generator type humidifiers on the market. But those are different stories. Ask your Armstrong representative to tell you about them as well. <laughs>